Minecraft interactive watch, smartwatch, kids watch. Let's check it out. I got me another one of these. This one is a notable downgrade compared to the uh, play zoom, that, which is the video right before this one. Although I do like the fact it tells you right up front, charge for 30 to 60 minutes before first use. This is the nice part. Notice, screen may be blank while charging for 30 minutes. True? Yes. Because what happens is that when you go to charge this thing, from, if I can get this thing open, a little annoying to open this part, but once you get it, there we go. Okay, so we've got our little micro, USB micro connector there, it comes with the cable. You plug this in, and you just let it sit like that and initially it does nothing and then once it starts to get a charge the screen will pop up and then you're good to go from there there's only a single button on this one button and that's all you get the strap soft and pliable good decent but as far as a kid's smartwatch goes ah yeah, a little, little lacking, but still, it, it does work. It does have a pinhole camera right there, which is fixed. You can't, obviously can't swivel it or anything like that. But when we press the button, okay, so you can swipe to go through menus like this. Now we'll first start with the settings right there. The first thing to notice is that it doesn't have any um, notification when you press anything. No beeps, no clicks. No, it does make noise. It does. So uh, what we have here is we can set the wallpaper, which is, uh, to be honest, a little disappointing because you've got three. That's it. So, and if I view it, so you've got that one, the Minecraft logo, and you died. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll just put it to this thing. Done. Okay, so we have our wallpaper set. Go back. I did not see any way to add a wallpaper to this either. Even with the camera, which was uh, interesting. Okay, so we have to set the date. If I can get this set. Now each one of these is a, if I'm right, yeah, okay, each one you can tap, the middle row, see I can get the camera to, fo there we go, the middle row, the one, that's the one you have to match up with, so if, for example, I wanted to set it to um, March 2025, for example, so, okay, I've got three for March, and then I got 313-2025 and I hit the check mark and then it would set the date. So we're good there. And then the next one is setting the time. Which operates more or less the same way. You can do AM or PM. And then just you want to hit the middle row there. So if I wanted, for example, um, we'll just say 145. Four, five, five. There we go. So now it's in the middle row, and if I hit a the uh, okay, if I hit the check mark, it would set it for 145. You'll notice that the home screen does, in fact, let me get that real close so you can see it. It does, in fact, show the full date and time with the weekday. L little tough to read on this screen, but still, I like that it shows. It does not show an analog clock though. I couldn't find any way to do it because I was tapping all over the place and I said, no, nah, I guess, <clears throat> excuse me, digital is all you get with this one. So we got the time set. Now for the storage set, this is interesting. Now if I hit space, it says, okay, I've got seven and a half megabytes of space, but it also will say I can set the storage to the watch 
itself. Set memory, set, couldn't even read that. Set to local memory successfully, or card. Please insert memory card. Really? I'm like, where? It's not here. I couldn't find where to do it. So it may be that if I unscrew, and I'm, I'm not going to do that, but I think if you unscrew the back of this, you could put a memory card in this. How big of a memory card? I, I don't know. I don't know. And then, well, anyway, I set it to the watch. If I can get it to take. There we go. Which is fine. Okay, so set that's that storage. And then I can just reset the whole watch if I want to from here. And this is where I can set the brightness of the screen. The lines actually, see how the lines decrease? That's your setting for that. And then there's your volume. That is the noise it makes. It is ridiculous. Okay, set wallpaper. Again, you've got three. It's the same three as before. And that's that. Yeah, for settings. Now, I might as well start over from here. Your camera. Oh, there I am. Hello. So, what we have is a camera there. Okay. That's a pinhole camera. It's <laughs> shooting my phone right now. But then I can go and let's see if I can go back here. Let's take a photo of something else. My ugly mug. There we go. There we go. Took a photo. Trash it from here. Or, yeah, I can go back. Or, I believe I can go to the... There's a gallery of some type. Oh, album viewer. There it is. So I want to see all my photos. I can go there. There's my photo. I do like the fact you can actually rename the photo, which is good, or delete it from here. Yes. No files. There we go. And if you have a uh, the ability to take video with this, same thing. So if I hit that and see that up there there we go you can see it it is taking video right now and then stop I'm gonna try to get it to stop you don't want to stop or did it oh saving I had to hit the other button okay but did it work let's go back album viewer okay is it gonna play oh there it is okay so this is the video I just recorded with sound okay trash that option delete yes back okay that's the camera now there is a pedometer here which is kind of cool I was not able to figure out how to get this to work. I was assuming that that is the step counter, okay, that resets it, and this starts it. So when you hit it, it does turn, okay, red. I could not figure this one out, because I'm assuming these two down here will say, uh, this is for distance. And that's how many steps you've taken, but I walked around with this. I tried to get it to work. It's probably me. It's probably me. Probably something I didn't do right. But I that is the only thing I really could not get working on this was the pedometer. It's like, okay, okay. And then finally, well, not finally. We've got some other things here, but, uh, you know, I'll just go here first. So the recorder, that's just for voice. That's just a uh, voice recorder. That's all that is. Oop and that one is just a basic calculator okay we've got that and then we've got our time tools which is setting your alarm if I you know go there it's only got one alarm sound on it which is that sound you heard a little bit ago and you tap the time I think I'm trying to set it on ah 
There we go. Oh, I had to hit the bottom part. Okay. Let me go back. Time tools. Alarm. And I hit the little bell here to set. There we go. So, if I set it for 5.30 p.m. Back up. There we go. And I would set. And it's either on or off. And there we go. The alarm has been set. Okay, that's good. So let me turn that off. Okay, so there we go. And then you have a basic stopwatch here. It's just, yeah. Start. Pause. Reset. Got a timer. I have set the five seconds. This is the only sound you get. It's the same as the alarm. That ridiculous sound. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. Okay, so we've gone through that. Those are the time tools. Then we finally get to the games. Okay. So what we have here is number batting. I'll just go through them first. A math test. A time master. Math time. Number sorting. Coin chaser. A math. Oh, and that's it. Okay. So if I do, for example, we'll just play one here. Come on. I'll do time master. And you have start and help. If I click on help, it says you have 60 seconds to guess the correct time. The clock is ticking. Start. So is that noon or not? It is. I wish it used that sound for other things, but it doesn't. Okay, is this 940? No, it's not. No, <laughs> no, it's not. Is this 530? No, it's not. Ironically, it shows the analog time here in a game, but not actually on the front face of the clock itself. Hmm. Is this 250? No. Is this 520? No. Is this 540? No. Is this 8 o'clock? No. 1050? No. Is this 105? No. 9.15, yes. Is 11, no. Is this 3.15? Yes. Yes. 5.35, no. Now let's let the clock run out there. Score is good. The other games pretty much follow suit. They're very simple games. So I do like Coin Chaser. Guess where the gold coin is? Oh, it's right there. Oh. So it's... <laughs> Let's say that one. Oh, I got it. Nice. So, simple game. Now, okay. Final thoughts on this. It's like I said, the Play Zoom Watch. Again, see the video prior to this one? Um... I have way more features than this watch did. I mean, this this is okay. This is an okay watch. But I couldn't find any way to set... Uh, like, if I go back to the settings here... There was no... You'll notice there's no setting for... You can set the brightness... But not the screen timeout. So you gotta deal with what you get. It's, again, only a single button interface. Technically does have a selfie camera, and for doing really basic movies, true. You can transfer from USB, true. But given this, oh yeah, and as you can see, complete smudge magnet, but yep, it's okay, it's a kid's watch, whatever. It's comfortable, I'll give it that, but kind of lacking compared to a PlayZoom model, where you can do a whole lot more on that and get your analog clock if you want and get way more wallpapers uh, just just so much more to it than this it's not that I'd say this is bad it's not bad but it's the same price 
compared to uh, Playzone, more or less. I think it's around twenty twenty five dollars. So, eh, yeah. I mean, unless your kid really likes Minecraft, it's got the look to it. I'll give it that. That, by the way, this is not metal. That's this is all plastic. Well, this is rubberized, but this is. It's made to look like metal. This is actually plastic that's been uh, plast plasti-chromed or whatever you call it. It works. And that's pretty much it. So, okay. Minecraft Interactive Watch for kids. For the uh, Minecraft fanatic kid in your family.